Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a weekly Sunday reset vlog for you. I love these videos. There's like a certain level of comfort to them that I just can't explain, but I typically use my Sundays to literally reset everything going on in my life that happened the week before. Sundays are my desperate attempt to get my life back together before I get thrown back into the cycle of the week. So I use this day to reset almost everything in my life from my surroundings, my mind, my habits, all of that to ensure that I will have a successful and productive week. I just like the vibe of Sundays. It's just a very peaceful time for you to like relax and take some me time and reflect and I'm all about that. Today I plan on deep cleaning my room, doing some laundry, planning my meals for the week, doing some grocery shopping, maybe going to the gym for the first time in a long time. <laughs> but let me show you the current state of my room because it is a hot mess. It is not cute. Also, this isn't gonna be like curated to look like super aesthetically pleasing and like, no, I'm gonna show you what my room looks like. It looks like a tornado. Um, <laughs> So I'm not, I'm not gonna hide anything from you. So hi, hello, this is my little space right here. This is my area. Prepare yourself in three, two, one, because this is what it looks like currently. Um, I, there's no dresser here. This is just a steaming pile of all my laundry that I need to fold. There's a random dog on the floor that needs to be put in a different spot. There's another one right there that doesn't belong there. There's this going on, which I can't even explain. I've got some dirty dishes that I need to wash. I don't know if you can see that. Oh yeah, you definitely can. <laughs> um, that's disgusting. I also have to take care of the bathroom, which is right in there. The counters need cleaning. I need to scrub the toilet. I need to do the shower, which I might be able to get away with if I'm feeling lazy, but I just need to deep clean that bathroom as well. I don't know about you guys, but like I have to tackle this right now because if I don't have a clean space, I will not get anything done. To me, a cluttered space is a cluttered mind for sure because I can't, I can't be productive if my space and my environment is dirty. So I have to tackle that first. There's like no getting around it. So let's get started. So I'm about to go to the store right now to get my groceries for the week, but before I do that, I always like to take the time to sit down and create a weekly meal plan. I find that this helps me for several reasons. Number one, to get a better idea of what ingredients I need for that week so that I don't overspend or buy groceries that I won't end up using. And number two, most importantly, it helps me to know what I'm actually going to be eating that week because I find that like if I have to work longer for some reason, or if I, if something comes up, you know, life is unpredictable, um, and I don't have a meal in place for that day, oftentimes it's just way easier to be lazy and order out, order take in, whatever, and over time that hurts your wallet, you know, it's not always healthy for you, so I have been trying to be really good about making a weekly meal plan, and honestly it has helped me so, so much. I just use like a simple Google spreadsheet to help me like lay out all my meals for the week, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and honestly it helps me so much. So that's a tip that I could give to you to help like ensure that you're eating healthier and you're like managing 
how much you spend for food and all that. So yeah, I'm gonna do that right now before I go to the grocery store. I guess I'm not really a breakfast person because every time I make these meal plans, I always leave the breakfast slot blank. I never know what to make. Like most days, I'll just have like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or like avocado toast, something simple like that. I, I don't really like to go too crazy for my breakfast meals. Um, and that obviously shows because I really don't plan those meals. I pretty much figured out what I'm gonna be making this week. Um, and that gives me a really good idea of what I need to get at the grocery store. So with that being said, let's go. So I just got back from the store and I thought I would do a quick little haul of the things that I bought just to give you an idea of what i buy for the week so i got some bread four blocks of tofu um i am vegan so i go through this stuff like almost every single day um and i think that four usually lasts me the week i try to make it last um so that i don't have to buy like 10 packs of tofu for the week spinach asparagus five zucchinis because i love zucchini <laughs> You're a real one if you know where that's from. But the real reason why I have so many is because I do have a recipe in mind for this week that requires four um, zucchinis and then one other spare one because another recipe called for it. So that is why I have so many zucchinis. <laughs> two heads of broccoli, two sliced baby Bella mushrooms. I love these. Two packs of seaweed because I've been obsessed with the Emily Mariko salmon uh, rice bowl. I love it so much. I veganized the recipe with tofu. It's amazing. I'm actually going to make it for lunch today. Two cutesy little red bell peppers. I love these so much. Literally almost every week I buy, like without a doubt, broccoli, bell pepper, onion, mushrooms. That's pretty much like my go-to. You'll always find that in my fridge. Two onions, cherry tomatoes for some pasta. Ramen for the days of the week where I get lazy and don't feel like cooking. Let's just be real, it happens quite often. Some Rouse tomato sauce, if you know, you know. And a bag of corn nuts because I had to buy a snack, so corn nuts it was. <laughs> so this is typically what my grocery hauls look like. It's just a bunch of veggies, tofu stacked all up in my fridge. All of this actually costed $50, like on the dot 50. And I'm really proud of myself because that's actually the limit that I set for myself weekly for groceries. So that's a win. And also it goes to show you, like I was saying, like you need to plan your meals. That way it helps you get a better idea of the cost of the groceries and everything that you need. Trust me, it helps you so much in the long run. So that was my haul for this week. These are the groceries that I'm going to use. And now it's time to cook some lunch because I am hungry. I'm going to make the viral veganized salmon and rice bowl. It is so delicious. If you haven't tried it, please do. It's amazing. I honestly have it like <laughs> two to three times a week sometimes because it's that good and it's very easy and cheap as well. It tastes like sushi too. So like I love that because I love sushi. I love seafood. So let's go make it. <laughs>
later that same evening. Oh my gosh, what a day it has been. I have spent the entire day being productive and I have to admit it feels really, really nice. It's about to be 9 p.m. We just got back from the gym. We had a great workout, by the way. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I haven't been to the gym in so long, in like a month or two, um, because after my knee injury, I, I didn't go for a while. I lost motivation and then I went like once or twice, um, but it never stuck, like I didn't, continue on with that workout streak but it felt really good to be back my fiance and i did um back and biceps so i felt like really really buff doing all these like weight lifting and stuff i even put my waist trainer on for the first time in forever so i felt snatched i haven't even had dinner and it's about to be nine but i'm not really all that hungry so i think i'm just gonna have like something really light and then i'm gonna shower relax a bit before going to sleep because i've been like non-stop all day cleaning the room and the bathroom took so long i was busting a sweat like that was like my pre-workout of the day and then everything else that followed just kind of took up the entire day as you saw so i'm ready to just take some me time and i hope that you don't mind but i'm not gonna film that because your girl your girl needs to to decom decompress Okay, everything that happened. That is gonna be all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for coming along with me as I reset my entire life for the week to come. Um, I definitely feel a lot more prepared and I feel like more organized and ready for the week. So that is a big weight lifted off my shoulders, which I can't even describe. Like I feel really good about today so yeah if you like these videos i do this almost every week like i said so i could definitely make another one if you wanted if you wanted to see more of what's going on in my life if you liked it please make sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe down below for new videos every single week comment down below what you like to do on your sundays to help get you ready for the week ahead as always i love you guys very much and i will see you on the next one bye